What's up guys, it's Matt McKinley here. Today, we're doing a cooking video. So, I don't know if you ever watch those cooking shows, but um, you won't ever have to watch one again because instead I will teach you how to make everything you need to know about any types, types of food. Your favorite foods, we're making it today. Um, I don't know if you guys can guess what we're having, but here are the two hints. Scrambled eggs with the twist. We're gonna make them better than the average egg. We're gonna be using brown eggs today because we're healthy and we're cavemen and we're cool. First thing you wanna do is spray it. We're using coconut oil because we're healthy. I don't even know if that's healthy. Don't take my word for that. Spray it out real good. I don't know how much oil you're supposed to put on it, but that was a whole lot. I'm too scared to turn on the stove before I have my stuff together because I don't want it to start cooking things fast. So a smart idea would be to get the ingredients out first. So coming through the fridge, you can't see me, but it's fine. We have some because you know scrambled eggs call, call for milk. <clears throat> scrambled eggs call for milk, and I have my favorite type of milk. It's gonna make it taste good if it's my favorite. It's oat milk, chocolate, no dairy, no nuts, 100% vegan. Um, so yeah, chocolate milk, and then another ingredient get out is one of my newly found favorite foods. It is tofu. I don't know if you've had tofu before and it's not really that weird for me because I like it but you guys probably would hate it so I'm just gonna bless your feed with it and give you a new food to try out. And utensils wise we're gonna be using a fork, a fork, a fork to just mix it up because that's what I've always used. So the first thing you want to do is you're gonna crack your eggs. Boom, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Cooking. Not bad. Bitch, disgusting. See, how, notice how normally people put it in a bowl first? I'm just putting it straight to the pan. Why? Because let's just get to the point, you know? Just do it. Hey guys, um, welcome. Try Nike's new food line. It's a grocery store called Nike. Just eat it. Uh, I think I'm only gonna make two because I just don't wanna wanna make like a huge egg meal and not be able to finish all of it when it's so good. I hope everyone's following along at home. Because if you're not, then you can't make it if you're not following along. So do that, do well. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. It's gonna be so good. Two shots of milk. If you didn't get that line, it's just it's fine. Um, and I put way too much more milk in the eggs. Oh my god, I put so much milk in it. Alright guys, we're gonna spoon it out. It's just a little, a little trick I've learned in my years at culinary school. Um, before I get started, I'm not going to turn around until you guys like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. So these are going to burn behind me if you guys don't do it. Alright. Alright. Okay, thanks. Because, I mean, I'm not going to be eating it if it's burnt. Because it's going to be so good if I burn it, my heart will be broken. So next up, we have seasonings. Um, um, um. Honey, honey and cilantro seasoning. These are gonna be our two seasonings. We're gonna start off with the honey. You have to use a bear honey because if not, it's not as good as everyone knows. If you don't use a bear bottle, it's not from bears. If you get the other ones with the little pictures of the bees on it, then it's from bees and that's not as good as honey from bears because everyone knows honey from bears rhymes with childhood because of Winnie the Pooh and it's just a lot better. So that's probably enough honey. I'm gonna mix it up real fast. This is what mixing it up looks like. Oh my God. What am I doing? Oh, I need to use some spatulas. The dishwasher is clean, guys, so I'm going to be looking in here for goods. I didn't find it, but this will work just as well. Okay, so that and then some cilantro is going to be poured into it next. Oh, cute, flaky. Actually, I'm obsessed with cilantro, if y'all don't know. I'm kind of just mixing up some of my favorite foods, you know, try it out, testing the waters. Going to put some tofu. Cut the tofu in half. Very important that you do this so you can release all of the vegan energy. If you haven't cooked like good, good scrambled eggs before, then I don't really know who you are. You can't use regular milk. You can't not use honey. You can't just put it in a bowl and just, you have to put it straight to the pan. These are all really good techniques I learned in culinary art school. Um, maybe you go if you were good at cooking. I have two pieces of tofu in it, so I'm gonna cut it and make it three. Boom, now I have 33% more tofu in my eggs. I think it, okay, I have to add one more egg, guys. I have to add one more because I put too much milk, okay? This is what happened. This is probably what happened to that girl in that vine where she put two shots of whatever. Oh, so hot. If you've never cracked an egg before, I suggest you try it. It's like watching a an animal give birth and it's just really an emotional experience and it's like, wow, bringing new life into the air. Oh my god, that is so sad for vegans. If there's any vegans watching, I'm so sorry and I hope you don't watch this. 
That was so sad. Add another egg. We're not gonna break the yolk, like I said. I can already see this egg forming. Oh, delicious. I was asking my friend, like, oh, what else should I put in these? You know, like, what, what's another good household ingredient that everyone loves that I can add to this scrambled eggs, which is another household homemade Southwest favorite. And they were like peanut butter, and I was like, yes, except I would throw up if I ate peanut butter in it because I hate peanut butter. Peanut butter, unless it's these. Unless it's these. Okay, you want to see what you have? I peanut butter in the middle, so good, but I hate peanut butter like that. Can't eat it. I felt sick for days after trying my friend's peanut butter smoothie once. Sick for days. Sick for days. It's super liquidy, so we might have to drain out some of the chocolate milk again, but um, other than that, it looks delicious, guys. If you ever have your boyfriend or girlfriend over for lunch for the first time to meet your parents, I was really suggesting making this meal. Make it with them. You put out the ingredients and say, like, make it, and if they don't do exactly what I'm doing, then they're not the one for you, you know? If they don't have good taste, of their taste buds, then you don't have good taste in them. That makes sense. Well, it looks so cute, guys. If you all want to see it, here are the results at the moment. Oh, looks to die for. But we are going to wait a minute. And this is the chance, and if you lied to me last time and you didn't like this video, you better do it right the f no. Because they honestly, they look like they're almost done, like they'd be about done, like, I like my eggs a little bit soggy, you know, I already like, you know, licked my fingers after breaking the eggs, and that was like, <laughs> heavenly enough, but now with all these extra ingredients, they're going to be even better than ever. Do you hear that? That is the sound of chocolate milk on a oven roasted fire. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I wish you guys could smell the smoke. It's like egg yolk, breakfast, IHOP, combined with like chocolate milkshake from Chick-fil-A and it's just exactly what you want in the morning. I'm gonna count to 30 seconds and then we'll be done. One, two. <sighs> Alright guys, I think they're done. So we're gonna put it on this cake right here. It's gonna be so delicious. We still have our toppings, don't worry. The fun is not just begun. The fun has just begun. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Anyways, guys, I'm not going to taste it until the very end because I want to make sure I'm not missing it. It's on my lips still, isn't it? I can see it and feel it. Oh my god, it's so gross. I'm just kidding, it's delicious. So that's it. And we want to obviously want to make our plate look restaurant quality so you can feed it to your significant other or, you know, maybe you're an adult and you're watching this and your divorced ex-husband, wife, your ex, your divorced ex, you can what? Anyways, and they're coming over for dinner to talk about like lawyer stuff and you're like, hmm, do you miss my cooking? You know? So what we're going to do on top is we're going to try to make kind of like a dessert. It's like dessert egg, scrambled egg, breakfast, after a nice dinner, on my birthday instead of cake, stick a candle on me type. Can y'all see it? Okay. Mm, trying to think of how we all can see this better, I guess. If I put this down a little bit, sorry about it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some sweeteners on it. We already did use honey. We're just a little bit on top because the honey flavor is in it, but you also wanna get it separate so it just rolls right on the tongue. Now what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you ever had a Shirley Temple. If not, then you're really missing out. But this is basically what a Shirley Temple is. It's this, with a little bit of Sprite. The more you put of this in it, the better it is. We're just gonna put a little dash in the middle. Oh. So nice, seeps right into the eggs. So that's for our fruity side of things. Just put a little bit in the middle, it'll seep through it out. And then of course, what is a dessert? What is it's just anything chocolate flavored without my bag, my boo, my thing? We're gonna put a spoon in the middle, just like, you know, a dollop. Oh, I hate that word so much. Anyways, this is how we get to get it off. A little more, a little more, should we do it? Mm, I wish it was, <laughs> what was that noise? I wish you could make it like, Oops, no one just told me you licked the spoon, did they? I do what I want. Anyways, guys, to make this more a diverse platter, you can put it, bring it to, like, you know, the Super Bowl. Okay, guys, so sorry that I got cut off in the middle of my speech about the Super Bowl Sunday. Um, I hope you're watching this on Super Bowl Sunday, even though it's really, really months away. My camera ran out of memory, and I was like, what? This is live television, and this is not supposed to happen. Anyway, so what we already did is, I, you missed it, you just crumble it up like this, you know, like, this motion, like, you're, like, you know, asking for more as a baby, or you're, like, getting something sticky off your fingers, and it's not edible, so you're like, what do I do? Anyway, I did that, I did it, like, 
like this. I kind of, if you like dance around like that, it really, really helps. Um, my, that's my technique at least, because you really feel the love and the energy in it when you bite out of it, you know. It's just my little piece of love for the world. But yeah, that's gonna be my last ingredient, the last bit of love, the last bit of energy as my topping, guys. It's gonna be really good. Here we are at the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm about to try it. It's gonna be so delicious. I just want you guys to experience the love too. So I hope yours is done, I hope yours is finished, yours is complete. Sit in my chair and I'm just gonna um, do a little taste of sampling for you guys. I really hope you enjoy it. We'll be back after the commercial break. Well, hi guys, welcome back. I know the suspense must have been killing you guys. Here it is, the time you've all been waiting for. I'm about to try my delicious, delicious chocolate scrambled egg Super Bowl Sunday significant other dish that I think you all will really love. Really perfect for all your family members. And we're gonna dive right, right in the center because that's where I tend to post most tended to put most of the topping, but I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit. Oh, so gooey. You can almost hear it. Listen, listen. ASMR. So Mm. And here we go. Mm. Mm. You know, I think it's really, really flavorful. You can taste all the flavors separately, but like together. It's like one thing, but like eight things all at once. And it just really splashes into your mouth. Thank you guys so much. The tofu is amazing too. I can taste one of the pieces on my first bite. The grenadine, oh. Great touch. Um, thank you guys so much. Let me know any dishes you'd like me to do a little spin on. Make it a little more fun and exciting. The world is so boring, am I right? So yeah, comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please try this at home. If you do, let me know how you like it. Send pics, make it really cute. If you add new ingredients, you're not allowed to because I'm amazing. And if there was anything else you could put in here to make it better, then I would have thought about it already. So don't even try it. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Or don't forget to subscribe. I was a lion, I gave into the fire I know I should have fought it, at least I'm being honest Feel like a failure, cause I know that I failed you I should have done you better, cause you don't wanna lie